Hello friends, today I will discuss about the comparative study of Delta, Delta Plus, Kappa and Lambda variants of COVID-19. We all know that virus is muted all the time and it can produce different different variants. Most of these mutants are insignificant but some others can make it more contagious. After the second wave of COVID-19 pandemic, it not just the Delta variant, but some other variants like Delta plus Lambda are the very recent Kappa is a great cause of concern in India. Two cases of a laser prominent variant of COVID-19, the Kappa variant is reported from Uttar Pradesh. Virus is muted all the time that we know. Most of the mutations are insignificant and some may even make the virus less dangerous. However, other can make it more contagious and harder to vaccinate against them. Now, next is Delta Plus. Some cases of the Delta Plus variant of COVID-19 considered highly infectious have been reported in Maharashtra with experts warning that it may trigger a third wave in the state. It has been detected in nine countries including UK, Portugal, Switzerland, Poland, Japan, Nepal, China, Russia and some parts from India. At least 138 cases of Delta Plus variant is detected in Tripura. This Delta Plus variant is highly infectious than plain Delta. It can also infect lungs. It is also reported that this Delta Plus variant is due to the mutation in its spike protein that is K417N mutation which is also reported from the state of Maharashtra, Kerala, Madhya Pradesh and with no significant increase in prevalence. Apart from usual symptom, this Delta Plus has vomiting, nausea, uh, joint pain and etc. This Delta variant is responsible for the deadly second wave of pandemic but now a mutation in that variant has emerged Delta Plus which is a cause of concern nowadays. India has dubbed Delta Plus a variant of concern. Some scientists worry that the mutation coupled with other existing features of Delta variant and it could more transmissible than Delta variant. On June 14, the WHO designated the Lambda variant, previously known by its formal significant name that is C.37, as the seventh and newest variant of interest. As per Malaysian Health Ministry, it has spread to 30 countries, including UK. Six cases of Lambda has been identified in the UK till date, and all have been linked to overseas travel. As per Public Health of England, there is no evidence that Lambda variant can cause more severe disease. The main symptom it may be a high temperature, a new continuous cough, a loss or change of your smell or taste. Most people with COVID symptom will have at least one of these listed symptoms. People who have visible this symptom should get a PCR test as soon as possible to verify whether they have COVID or not. Now next is about Kappa variant. It is a double mutant with the same lineage as the Delta variant has, which is identified as B.1.617.1. As per WHO, a variant of interest is the one which has genetic changes. They are predicted or known to affect virus characteristics such as disease severity, immune escape, diagnostic or therapeutic escape and they have following symptoms. The two cases of laser prominent that is the Kappa variant have reported from Uttar Pradesh. The variant was overshadowed by the dominant of Delta variant which is believed to be largely responsible for the brutal second wave. Therefore, it was already known last year that the Kappa variant was designated as a variant of interest around 5 months after its detection on April 4, 2021. So this is all about Delta variant, Delta plus and Kappa and Lambda variant. So this is all for today. Thank you for watching this video.